Hi, this is Mike from Commswise. It's just a short video to <clears throat> show you how to program speed dials on a Siemens High Path system. Uh, this one's a High Path 3500. Uh, I think it's a version 7, quite a late one. Um, the phone I'm using is a very old memory E. I'm using that because it's uh, got quite a big display, so it should give an idea of what's going on. Uh, you can also program the names on this type of phone. The chances are um, you'll have a smaller display phone and you can't program the names on. But, uh, you know, just give us a call and we can should be able to do it remotely for you. And we've got another video to show you how to set up remote access. Okay, so um, I'm going to use the... Uh, this is in default, so we use the default password. Um, you, if you need a password, you need to get that uh, before you can do it. So... Uh, Firstly, we go into System Programming, which is uh, star 95, and the user's 31994. Hit the tick button, and then ask for a password. Well, in default, that's uh, 31994 again. 31994. Hit the tick again, and OK, so it comes up then with the uh, program listing. Um, on here, uh, it's po program 12. Um, it might be different on other <coughs> versions and software versions, but uh, so we go down with the uh, forward button, down onto system speed dial there, tick that. Okay, so it comes up with a speed dial number. <coughs> so we hit the tick button again. Uh, okay, so we're going to say we're going to use um, speed dial location 5 so we go <coughs> forwards down to select member tick that and it asks for a speed dial number that's a three digit number so we put in 0, zero 5 hit the tick and it asks for a number so we put in the line access code which is going to be a 9 sorry cock that up go back change Okay, there's nothing in five anyway, so we're going to put in our number now, which, uh, well, we're putting BT sales, shall we? So we put in uh, 9080400400. That's all done. Click confirm, tick. That's done. Okay, so we want to then. Uh, I mean, you probably put in a load then, you just carry on. So you just go next, and that will go on to 006, and you can just start putting them in. Okay, so we want to put a, a name in. Um, like I said, it's probably, you probably won't be able to do this, but I'll just show you anyway. Um, so we're going to go forward button down to uh, speed dial name. Uh, hit the tick button. Uh, and we're going to... This time we're going to get it right and go down and hit change. Incidentally, if there's um, if there's no number programmed in, it won't let you put a name in. So hit the tick, change, and then we can start typing in our numbers. It has to be done on this little QWERTY keyboard down here. That's why you probably might struggle a bit putting in a name. Um, and we just put in, um, I think, hit the going up key to make it a capital which doesn't, I've hit the wrong key but we won't worry about that uh, and then hit the T space sales and there it is, just confirm um, yeah one point about that, obviously when people ring in um, it will come up with a number, you know, if you've got caller ID um, but if you've got the name programmed in there, it will come up with whatever you've programmed in on that name. So if we just hit the tick there, that's all done. Just come out, just hit the hands-free button, all done. So that's it. Good luck. Thanks.